You're right, guys, and welcome to day three. Hey, uh, day three. Of hey. Advent. We were gonna try and do quicker, shorter episodes so that we can get through these, but. We're gonna yeah, try. I don't try know. our best then. We'll try our best, but yeah. we're just, we're just yeah. trying to do some jokes and make stuff entertaining in between, you know? Yeah, gotta do that. It's Christmas. Chris, it's Christmas. Well, That's nearly. the excuse. Nearly. Any old excuse for Christmas. Christmas time. Uh, so it's day three of our neuromuscular advent calendar. If you've not seen them already, day one was Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Day two was yesterday, which was yeah, oculopharyngeal. Oh, pharyngeal. Pharyngeal. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Learning, learning on the job. That's it. That's it. I've yeah. been learning that loads as well. I really have. Uh, so <laughs> let's have a look what's inside the Christmas tin. Da, 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 da. Uh, far, far, far. Fascio. FSHD. You can call it FSHD. We got a bigger sign here. Fascio scapulo humeral muscular dystrophy. I'm not showing you that one. And that one's actually quite good because uh, the full name, Fascio scapulo humeral, it actually explains what it means. Fascio up the base, scapulo of the upper back there. And humeral, I believe the humeral is just the, the, the top of the upper limbs around here, which is probably why that's called the humerus, your funny bone, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that explains it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, in fact, that doesn't explain it all. Andrew, you're going to do your, what you've been doing. You're going to explain it all big time, yeah? Oh, yeah. So, as we just said, FSH gets its name because of the type of progressive loss of all skeletal muscle, where weakness is usually noticeable across facial, fascio, back, scapula, and upper arm, humeral muscles. FSHD, let's refer to it as that, is one of the most prevalent types of muscular dystrophy. A recent study reported a prevalence of 1 in 8,000 people. It's estimated to affect over 800,000 individuals worldwide, although that could be much higher due to undiagnosed cases. The age of onset can range from infancy to adulthood, and also the extent and degree of muscle loss is highly variable. Progression is usually relatively slow. Awesome! Thanks, Adney, as always. Thanks, uh, too. What? Thanks, what? <laughs> Thanks, Andy, as always. That did not sound like my name, then. <laughs> <laughs> <Anyway. laughs> Well, hopefully we'll yeah. know a little bit more about FSHD now, or facio humeral muscular dystrophy. Yeah, you said it right. I like I like them. Thanks <laughs> for assessing me. There, there are different types. There's FSHD1, FSHD2. There's also infantile FSHD, which is characterised by an early kind of childhood onset before mm. the age of five. So again, I think, as you were saying, it really does vary. I mean, that's another muscular dystrophy. So we've done three days now. All have been muscular dystrophies. Duchenne muscular dystrophy, uh, oculopharyngeal muscular dystrophy, fascio scapulo humeral muscular yeah, dystrophy. Yeah, that's <laughs> so yeah. day four tomorrow might well be something that's not a muscular dystrophy. But you'll have you know, to wait and see. You'll have to wait and see indeed. Um, but uh, I'll be excited for you. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed it as usual. <laughs> and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>